we're going. Hello. Hello. Okay, um, we're in a, a quite a different surrounding from last time. We're at another hostel in a town called Bargain. Let me get up and I'll show you what we've got this time. No bathroom. And also a single bed, which was uh, Hannah's choice. <laughs> she wanted to save the food and pesos. You know, less than a pound for an extra bed, but you know. I didn't, I didn't realise that mind. the bed was single. <laughs> I peeked in, I was tired, I had no idea. Um, the bathroom is down the hall, we've showered, which felt so oh, good. Oh, first time Cars. running water in four days. Yeah, we've been staying on the islands for three nights. Um, last time it was at Governor's Island, and there's no running water, no electricity. You have to bring all your own food onto the beach. So we've been pretty skanky really because we sweated so much. Well, yeah. And sun creamed up about. Yeah, basically we'd sun cream seven times a day. Sun cream, sweat it off, and reapply an hour later. So we we're just reapplying. By the end of it, we we had like five layers of sun cream and dead skin and sand. It's like bleh. and some sand in there as well. Mm. You said sand. I said sand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, um, and the salt water just doesn't get you clean, it makes you sticky. Mm. Um, but we have a lot to report. We just first of all, I think we should get this in first. We want a special mention. <laughs> special shout out. <laughs> a shout out to our absolutely incredible, right. incredible boatman who took us out to the island when we first got there. And um he basically he is our boatman, our personal boatman. Pampy. It's called Pampy. He's amazing. But he gave us his number because we didn't know what time we wanted to go back the next day or what we wanted to do. We were a bit useless really. We were like, oh, we don't know. But he said he'd bring us food, water, anything we wanted from the mainland. He'd just he'd sort buy us it out. for us and sort bring it out for us. And so he gave us it. He, gave, he hooked us up. Gave us his number and then he dropped us off um, for two nights. The night that we shot the last video. Um, and when he got back, he was clearly a bit worried about us. He sent us a text, I'll read it. It says, Good evening, Hannah, mm, question mark, Polly. <laughs> Are you okay? If something problem, just cool me. Or text massage, okay. Miss you, enjoy. Oh, bless How cute is that? He's so cute. So he sent him a text back saying how thankful we were. And he sent us a text back saying, you're welcome, my sisters. Be cool. Enjoy if you want something. Tell the maintenance. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Which is what he says all the time. Text that's like that's like him. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> See you soon. And what did he say when he took us to his boat? First off, about it being his name? It's my name. It's my name. Bambi. <laughs> oh, He's so cute. He's amazing. And he has an adorable wife and kids as well. We love him. Yeah, so Pampy deserves a shout out. He's our friend. Um, what else do we have to report? Oh, so last time we spoke... Uh, we were getting ready to camp on our own believed, island. Yeah, but the island was our own for the evening. We had set up camp. We'd, uh, yeah, we had... So yeah, we, so we got all settled into bed. We played a game of moonlight cards. It's beautiful. Uh, we got into our tent, it was about 9 o'clock we went to bed, got, got an early one, we're not used to the dark um, so early. 1 o'clock. In the morning. In the morning. <laughs> we stirred from our slumber by the distant sound of a banker approaching. <laughs> and as we surfaced, me and Hannah thought we were dreaming as platoons of <laughs> Filipinos marched out of the water, no joke. Like, right in front of our tent. We'd slept with the door open because it was so hot we wanted to get a draft here and we thought well no one else is on the island so we may as well. Mm. So I, w I was near the door, my head was like right next to it and I woke up to see Filipinos just walking out of the sea. Comparable to only that of D-Day. D-Day on the beaches of the Normandy. The beaches of Normandy. <laughs> Just picture the first scene from Saving Private Ryan yeah. <laughs> when they're storming the beaches. Only instead of Germans on the beach, it was me and Polly. We literally, we sat in, we sat, <laughs> on it. We, we were sat up, but then Hannah was like, sit down, I see your shadows. So we lay flat. We like zipped at the tent, oh, that no. was oh, oh my god, one of the toggles was stuck. 
cutting this up and no, pulling on this top <laughs> eventually resorted to the nail scissors because it was just too <laughs> too much. And then Polly uh, was so angry we had to uh, cut the tent. Yeah, I was I was pretty angry about that. And then we just <laughs> laid there in silence while I just went, Hannah what the fuck for about an hour. So And I responded with I don't know. Shh oh no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was um, and then came the morning, which was a bit awkward. We didn't know what to do, really. We'd been sat in our tent all night. <laughs> yeah, during the night as well, because I couldn't sleep because I was afraid of the the outside that had landed on our beach. So um, I spent the rest of the night <laughs> slowly unzipping <laughs> the tent, <laughs> tooth by tooth. <laughs> So it wouldn't make any noise whatsoever to alert the enemy. And <laughs> once I had the bottom open, I spent all night laid next to it, peeking out when it was all Just big enough, just big enough to get her eyes to keep, Keeping watch keeping on the enemy. <laughs> the opposition. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah. And then the next day we didn't really know what to expect. So we didn't know how to get out of our tent and just be casual about it all because we made such a grand fuss the night before yeah um but we got up went about our day they just didn't talk to us at first did they yeah it's good um and then we met edwin first didn't we before edwin yeah yeah a guy from the the, the group and literally we're talking hordes of filipinos <laughs> hordes he came over to us and it turns out he was one of them um, and he was really nice, wasn't he? Yeah, but we asked him who he was with. He was with his family, so it was just one family, but uh, just one family of forty-six <laughs> Filipinos. Hence the platoon. <laughs> Hence the platoon. One man had adopted fourteen children. Yeah, it's incredible. It Absolutely was incredible. Yeah, but then once we once we felt we knew Edwin, we were in smooth sailing. It smooth was sailing smooth sailing. sailing. Um, and for the rest of that day, in our last video, you might have seen the little hut we had on our beach. Yes. We did just man it for the yeah. whole day. Apart from the Korean invasion! Korean invasion. At lunchtime. We, uh, <laughs> we thought we had it for the whole day. We've been in the hut all day. It was our hut. The whole beach knew it was our hut. Yeah, man. We had planted our seed there, hadn't we? It was... It was, it was ours. One, then, one cute little lady at first, wasn't it? Just one little lady. One little Korean lady came up. We, and we'd had a lot of people coming up to us all day. We're quite rare here. People want to take pictures with us. We're going to start charging. 50, 50 pesos. pesos a pick. We would be minted it's, by now. It's actually like the paparazzi. Mm. At one point, there was about 15 yeah. Filipino children sitting around us wanting to get in the photo. Yeah. And about eight cameras. Yeah. Lined up in front of us. Flashes. And they're all like there with their <laughs> living life. <laughs> and we're just there like <laughs> how English. Uh, um, hands on our laps. Yeah. Proper proper. Um so this Korean lady comes up to us, she doesn't speak much English. And she's like, Oh, how are you? How are you? And we're we're fine. We had a nice little conversation and she's like, Are you are you having lunch? We, we're like, no, we've already had our lunch, and she's like, oh, we're gonna have lunch, and she's like, oh, okay. Can we can we join you? Is that okay if we join you? That's what she said. And um, of course, of course you can join us. And then from across the island, her husband comes with a mic. No, with with a with a tiny young Filipino boy <laughs> beckoning him <laughs> the, behind him so with a fucking fuck off massive cool box. <laughs> Which carrying his little, cool box. This boy had like hauled onto his shoulders, his head was like this, and he was carrying it away. Yeah. And they set up on our hut, on our table, and then didn't talk to us at all. Just talked amongst themselves in Korean. So we had no idea what we were saying. Yeah. And three courses. Three, no, yeah, three courses followed, followed up by coffee. Three courses plus dessert plus coffee. Yeah. Just when you think it's all over, it's not over. We yeah. sat. Yeah. Out, come, out comes a third mango. <laughs> Fuck. God. <laughs> and we, being stupidly polite, didn't want to make our own conversation like they were, so we sat in silence at our hut for, for two hours. For about two hours. Hannah was not happy. <laughs> <laughs> she, 
She was not happy. She's not happy. Polly made an effort. I just didn't. But <coughs> after that, we gained our hut back. We had a nice swim. We met some more nice Filipinos. And we met the rest of the clan. Yeah, we met the rest of the platoon. And now we're here. Now we're here. We got a bus to... We got two buses to get to Baguio. Which it's been a rough day now. for Han, hasn't it? It's, it was ridiculous. Yeah. He was sweat. I thought if she didn't get a shower in the next four minutes, she was going to cry. <laughs> Closely followed by if she didn't get to a toilet in the next three minutes, she was going to cry. But as soon as but I said that, what did appear on the horizon? A, a, a toilet did appear on the edge of a mountain, which was pretty, pretty spectacular. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been traumatic, but we're here now. And I don't know if you can hear it, but if we're really quiet... No, you can't hear it. There's rain. It's raining. Really raining hard. Monsoon out there. Yeah, first monsoon. Because yeah. before now we've been on the beach. Glorious sunshine. And it's just been blazing. Blazing sunshine. All the time. Okay. Is that everything? Yeah. Okay. Should I do it? You do it. It's your thing. <laughs> this is Polly Gunton and Hannah Marwood. Am I filming myself? This is Polly Gunton and Hannah Marwood. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs> Polly, press the button. <laughs> it's still filming. <laughs> <laughs>